Okay, hi everyone. Um, hopefully you can hear the, the, the sound of the video. Um, yeah, on the public road, so it's kind of loud here. Um, so this is my 2016 Dodge Charger RT. And this model was not equipped uh, with the uh, backup camera. So I was installing a backup camera in actually uh, the mirror. So I got a new mirror, which you can see over here, uh, where I have a dash cam and I do have a backup camera. So, and it was quite difficult to get the stuff in. So I show you kind of through the steps. Actually, there were two steps which I've gone through. So two uh, weekends and I will show you the pictures from the last weekend um, later on in the video. So let's start over here. This is uh, the backup camera, which is uh, not clipped, uh, but with kind of a glue um, under uh, underneath this cover here. And I've cut through the light of the um, license plate. And actually, yes, I'm in, in Germany, so please don't wonder. Um, I've gone through here and then I run the wire underneath this cover. And um, this is quite difficult, so you may want to have some help uh, with another wire. Uh, to connect over here and then you go all the way through up here and then you will have to lay under your car and then there is when you go inside um, over here um, yeah some kind of a rubber clip where you actually can go through um, but the rubber clip is um, I will show you the picture you cannot cut through it so you have to go uh, yeah near the cover or near the, the clip and this is uh, quite difficult and you don't want to break the wire. Um, so actually when you when you do that, which is underneath here, then um, you will be careful and um, you will have to yeah watch out that everything looks fine and I was clearly not about to cut through any of my metal so I've seen pictures where people actually put their backup camera on this place and they cut through the metal and I'm really not that fan of uh, doing that all right so what did I then from the cover uh, from the wires which end up over here which is the wire which goes in the front of the car um, this is the wire which needs to be connected with the plus of the um, of the rear gear. So the, the, when the tail light goes on from the, uh, from shifting into the rear, uh, which is that one, then you will want to have um, that the camera automatically turns on. And this is what I did this uh, weekend. So actually, when you slip into that here. Um, I said last time the cover was um, removed. But the, 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 um, the wire which goes in the front goes underneath this, uh, uh, this cover, uh, goes over here and from here it's very easy to go with the wire uh, underneath this and go on the top of the car and I will show you how I uh, had the, um, the wire over there as well. Um, but what I did this time um, is to actually connect the plus wire, uh, which you can see uh, here. Um, it's not actually finished, but I want to show you the progress, otherwise you will not see it. And the difficulty was um, that you will want to know which of these wires, which goes in the trunk hood over here, um, which is actually the plus of the um, of the um, backup tail lights. I don't know if you want to call it that in in the U.S., but I, I think you, you you know what I what I mean. So actually, you rem I removed the cover, and um, it looks this way uh, for me because we in Germany we need to have like the uh, yellow light blinker. So don't wonder, but that is intact, and this is it should look the same. Um, uh, in your country as well. So what I did is I, I got like a voltmeter and we tested where we have the plus on this connectors um, when I shift into the uh, reverse gear and there are six connectors in here and you will want to have yeah the minus you will want to have over here and then you can 
uh, connect your voltmeter over on on this iris and see which one do we have for uh, the plus and it's basically the both in the middle so that's like the orange uh, it's the orange white and it's like the brown white uh, here in the middle um, those both cables are for um, for the uh, rear light and when you go all the way up where the cable goes through so under this hood it goes over here and then underneath that it will go inside and will strip to um, the place where I will uh, show you in a second where the wire goes to and this is the place where I uh, connected the plus pole because it's the easy one because you really don't want to cut any anything uh, inside here and I actually find out that the cut that the wire goes somewhere different so I will show you right now that the wire goes this wire goes under this uh, cover as well and then it goes all the way up to the rear speaker and from here it goes somewhere and then I cut all the way up um, through uh, yeah this uh, blue kind of uh, black thing the cover for um, the wires and then I, I found the orange white um, wire and cut it so I was able to connect the plus pole uh, or the plus from this cable and from here oof, um, I will show you how the uh, camera actually looked like uh, I can leave the trunk open actually. So we'll, you will go into the car and the back up and the um, dash cam is looking like that. So you, you pop up this uh, camera on top of your normal mirror and here you can see this is the, the camera and the um, this one is able to record whatever is happening in front of your car and uh, because you have the camera in the back also from the back of the car which is really helpful in case there went really something wrong and you want to show your insurance what happens or something similar right so what happens when i start the car the dash cam went on make some sound normally it shows what is in uh, the back and I will, I will now simulate um, what's happening um, when you actually drive. This is the normal drive mode. Normally you would see the kilometers uh, or the miles in your country, how, 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 um, how fast you are, but I haven't connected the GPS yet and I really don't think that I'd want to do it. So normally you see either that or you see just the normal screen and I can show you, yes, you can see um, what's happening behind you that's awesome looks good okay now I shift into the reverse gear right and then so actually I, I messed up the cable the cable gets loosened and it uh, didn't work so next test here we go we start the car dash cam gets on and you right see um, um, the back of the car, so only the dash cam, and you can go here and change it uh, to the front if you would like to. And normally, it is in that mode. And then you shift into the rear gear, and then the uh, backup camera gets on, and you also have this nice, um, yeah, uh, colors, so you see uh, how far you are away from actually, um, yeah, the wall or something like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, I just shut off the car again um, because I, I told you I, I showed you uh, the wiring right uh, so you have the wires over here it's like uh, two two times USB one USB is um, in the front of the car which goes in the uh, 12 volt adapter and I ch choose this one because it's only on when the uh, ignition turned on and when the ignition turned on uh, the backup camera turns on as well uh, the other one uh, which is underneath uh, that one here uh, the armrest is uh, um, full-time power uh, I mean by that um, you will have power all the time even if the ignition is off right um, 
then I um, I will just get out of the car um, there you will see the, the dash cam from outside and what I did is um, the wires goes up here and uh, the wires are not thick enough to stick uh, underneath uh, that cover so I wrapped some tape um, around the the wires to make it thicker uh, you can actually see it over there and then it fits nicely underneath uh, the overall cover here and then uh, I go uh, straight with the cup uh, with the wires uh, one over here and the other I will go um, over here but you you will see the tapes here um, because actually you get the airbag underneath that cover um, if the airbag goes on the cover flow away and the airbag uh, goes out um, the stripes here are good um, they, they will just break when the airbag um, um, yeah flew out or uh, yeah activates but when the wire is under under the hood here or under the cover and the airbag is right underneath that and you will put the cover uh, the, the, the wire over the airbag when you sit on the passenger seat you might get injured because the airbag is not um, um, yeah going on the full size or something so I choose uh, this uh, wiring strategy because um, I, I will not see it when I when I'm driving and um, the passenger is is not injured if there uh, if something happens so that was my strategy then it goes uh, with some some tape around here under that um, floor mat and right uh, to the 12 volt um, adapter and the other cable as I said just goes under that cover and in the back of the car yep so I'm pretty happy with that um, it costs around 200 bucks so euros in my case uh, here in uh, Germany on Amazon but I think um, that is also shipped to the US good